Good day, I'm Sandini Gunasingha from Group 25 and today I'm going to demonstrate caring for patients after skull surgery. So first, let's talk about what is craniectomy. Craniectomy is a neurosurgical procedure which involves removing a portion of the skull in order to relieve pressure on the underlying brain. It could be done for a variety of reasons such as diagnosing, removing or treating brain tumors, clipping or repairing aneurysm, removing blood clot or blood clots from the leaking blood vessels, removing atrovenous malformation which is known as AVM, draining a brain abscesses, repairing skull fractures. Uh, as with any surgical procedure, complications may occur. Brain surgeries uh, risk it tied to the specific location in the brain and the operation will affect. For example, if in the area of the brain is that controlled speech is operated on, the speech may be affected. Infection, bleeding, blood clots, uh, pneumonia, unstable blood pressure, seizures, muscle weakness, brain swelling, uh, leakage of the cerebrospinal fluid uh, can be occur. And also memory problems, speech difficulties, paralysis, coma, or abnormal balance or coordination could be occur as well. So immediately after the procedure, the patient will be taken into a recovery room of four observations before taking uh, them to the intensive care unit to be closely monitored. Or the patient could be taken directly to the ICU from the operating room. In the ICU, patient may be given medicines to decrease the brain swelling. The recovery process will be depend, uh, depending upon the type of procedure done and the type of anesthesia given. Once a uh, patient's blood pressure, pulse, breathing rates are stable, uh, which means vital signs are stable, the patient is in alert, he may be taken into the ICU or to his hospital room. After staying in the ICU, he will move to a room uh, on a neurosurgical nursing unit in the hospital. He will remain in the hospital for several more days. The patient may need oxygen for a period of time after surgery. Generally, the oxygen will be disconnected before he goes home. Then he will be taught a deep breathing exercises to help re-expand the lungs and prevent pneumonia. Frequent neurological checks will be done by nursing and medical staff to check his brain function and to make sure the body systems are functioning properly after the surgery. Patient will be asked to follow a variety of basic commands such as moving his arms and legs to assess his brain function. His pupils will be checked with a flashlight and will be asked some questions to assess his orientation such as his name, date, and where you are. The strength of patient's arm and legs will also be tested. The head of the bed may be elevated to prevent swelling of the patient's face and head. Some swellings could be normal. Then the patient could be encouraged to move around as tolerated while in bed and to get out of bed and walk around with assistance at first and then his, uh, after his strength improves. A physical therapist may be asked to evaluate his strength, balance and mobility and give his suggestions for exercises to do both in the hospital and home. Patient will likely have sequential compression devices known as SCDC place on uh, his legs while he is in bed to prevent blood clot formation. SCDS have an uh, air compressor that slowly pumps air into the out of the fitted sleeves that are placed on the legs. They help to prevent blood clots forming by passively compressing the leg veins to keep blood from moving. Depending on the patient's situation, he may be given liquids to drink a few hours after surgery. His diet may be gradually changed in include more solid foods as he can handle them. The patient may have catheter in his bladder to drain his urine for a day or so or until he is able to get out of bed and move around. Ask patient to be sure to report any painful urination or other urinary symptoms that occurs after the catheter is removed as these may be signs of an infection that can be treated. 
Depending on patient status, he may be transferred to a rehabilitation facility for a period of time to regain his strength. Before the patient is uh, discharged from the hospital, arrangements will be made for a follow-up visit with the doctor. His doctor will also give him instructions for home care.